Adeola is a very lovely young lady. She belongs to a family that faced some challenges. Her mother worked as a trader, selling goods to earn money, while her father worked as a farmer, tending to crops and animals. Exciting news, Adeola has been offered a place at the university. She is just 18 years old. She possesses both beauty and intelligence. This opportunity will allow her to pursue higher education and broaden her horizons. Adeola's parents work tirelessly to gather enough money to send her to school. Despite their struggles, they were determined to provide her with an education. Once Adeola began her studies, she excelled in all her courses, earning the admiration of not only her peers but also her lecturers. Her consistent academic sources and friendliness made her favorite among everyone at the university. After classes, when Adeola returned to her hostel, she is always greeted by a crowd of students eagerly seeking her help to solve their academic problem. Her reputations for being knowledgeable and approachable spread quickly. She became a person who helped not only her classmates but also senior students in the university with their studies. Adeola's rapid rise to her prominence made her subject of much gossip and envy throughout the school. Many students could not help but feel jealous of her accomplishments, especially considering she had only been at the university for a short time. Unfortunately, jealousy can sometimes lead people to do harmful things. Some of Adeola classmates, driven by envy, concocted a plan to undermine her sources. They conspired with a student from third year named Ola to fake affection for Adeola, hoping to distract her from her studies and divert her progress. Ola, a rich and good-looking guy, did not care much about studying because he could just pay his way through. He often asked Adeola for help with his schoolwork. Eventually, he began giving her a gift, but Adeola did not want them because she is happy with what she had. However, Ola kept trying to convince Adeola and eventually she began accepting his gift. Despite this, she stayed focused on her studies, which frustrated Ola. He felt like his efforts were wasted. So he came up with a new plan. Ola began bringing roses to Adeola and professing his love for her, claiming he could not go a day without seeing her. However, Adeola, be in her first year in the university and not interested in a relationship, made it clear to Ola that her main goal was to make her parents proud. She reminded him of the sacrifice her parents have made for her education, emphasizing her dedication to her studies. Ola is not willing to pay attention because he dear Adeola's classmates, saying he will do everything he can, by fair means or fall, to make Adeola lose her confidence. Ola is in a tough spot. He had challenged Adeola classmates and he really did not want to lose the challenge. So he decided to ask his friends for advice. He went to them one by one, hoping they could help him come up with a good plan. After listening to his friends' suggestions, Ola spent some time by himself, thinking hard about what to do next. He realized he needed to do something special to win this challenge. So he decided to buy a new phone for Adeola, thinking it could help him in some way. But when Ola offered the phone to Adeola, 
She politely refused. She said she was perfectly happy with the phone she already had. Ola did not give up easily. He explained to Adeola that the new phone would allow her to browse the internet, something she could not do with her current phone. He also told her he wanted to thank her for all the help she had given to him with his studies. At first, Adeola was not sure what to do. She did not want to accept such a big gift, especially since she already had a phone that worked just fine. But after thinking about it for a while, she realized Allah is being really kind and generous. So she decided to accept the gift and thank Allah for his thoughtfulness. One day, Allah called Adeola and asked her to come over to his hostel, which is off campus, to help him cook. He told her he is feeling very sick and could not manage on his own. Adeola, being a caring friend, felt worried about Ola's health and immediately agreed to help him. She set off on a journey to find Ola's hostel, even though it was located off campus and she was not familiar with the area. Despite the challenges of an unfamiliar location, Adeola remained determined to reach Ola's place and assist him. After some time, Adeola finally managed to locate Ola's hostel. She was relieved to have found it and hurried inside to check up on her friend, ready to offer her help and support during his time of need. Adeola went to the market to buy food ingredients for Ola. Meanwhile, Ola and his friend secretly put a camera in his bathroom. They wanted to trick Adeola into taking a bath at his place so they could record her without her knowing. Ola planned to use the video to threaten and control Adeola later on. When Adeola returned from the market, she cooked a meal for Ola and served it to him. Ola, however, insisted that he could not eat alone. So Adeola joined him at the table. As they were eating, Ola asked for more soup. Adeola kindly went to get it from the kitchen. As Adeola walked back to the table with the soup, Ola suddenly pretended to stand up in the confusion. He accidentally knocked over the bowl, spilling the hot soup all over Adeola's clothes. Ola apologized profusely to Adeola for the accident and hurt her to go to the bedroom to wash off the soup stain. As soon as Adeola entered the bedroom, Ola secretly turned on the hidden camera, which Adeola was completely unaware of. Inside the bedroom, Adeola proceeded to remove her clothes to wash off the soup stain. Still unaware of the presence of the camera, she decided to fully undress to ensure her clothes were thoroughly clean. I then proceeded to take a bath. After bathing, Adeola dressed herself again and left the bathing room, obliviously to the fact that she had been recorded. Meanwhile, Ola watched the footage from the hidden camera, waiting for the opportune moment to turn it off. When he noticed Adeola preparing to leave the bedroom, he quickly switched off the camera, satisfied that he had captured the compromising footage he desired. When Adeola came back from the bedroom, Allah invited her to return to the dining area to continue eating. However, Adeola closed. We are still wet from washing the soup stain, making her feel uncomfortable. Adeola said she had to go back to school to change her wet dress. Allah thanked her and she left for her hostel. Later, Ola watched the video of Adeola in the bathing room on his phone. He felt powerful, thinking he could not control Adeola with the video. He laughed and called himself a genius for making the plan. When Adeola came back to her room in the hostel, 
she changed her clothes and freshened up to feel clean. Then she picked up a book and continued reading where she had stopped before. She liked reading because it helped her to learn new things. The next day, Adeola went to her class. In one of her classes, the lecturer gave back the test scripts they had taken earlier. Adeola looked at her test paper and saw the marks she got. She felt happy because she knew she did well. She remembered what she wrote in the test and felt proud of herself. Adeola smiled because she worked hard on the tests and she got the marks she deserved. She knew she did a good job because she studied and answered the question carefully. It made her feel proud of herself and motivated her to keep working hard in her classes. During the class, Adeola lecturer uses her as an example for other students to follow because of her good performance. However, some students did not feel happy about the way the lecturer praises her. They thought it was not fair or right. After the class ended, Adeola classmates talked to Ola and told him that he had not done anything yet. They also mentioned that Adeola was doing even better than before. When Ola heard what Adeola's classmates said, he told them to calm down. He promised them that starting from this week, Adeola would not be doing well anymore. He seemed determined to somehow bring Adeola down or make sure she did not succeed as much. Later at Adeola hostel, Ola came by once again with his usual proposal to be in a relationship. However, as always, Adeola turned him down. She did not feel the same way about Ola and did not want to be in a relationship with him. Despite his efforts, she remained firm in her decision. Ola persisted, pleading with Adeola, I want you, please stop refusing me. However, Adeola stood her ground and replied firmly, It is high time you stop coming to see me. I am only interested in my studies. With that, she left him and went into her room. Allah felt his anger boiling inside of him as he heard the laughter from the girls around. One of them even had the audacity to speak up, saying she said she is not interested. Let her be. This only foiled Allah's frustration further. With a sharp ease of annoyance, Allah stormed out of the hostel premises. His emotions swelling with disappointment and embarrassment. He did not want to stick around where he felt humiliated. Determined to cool off, he headed back to his hostel off campus. When Allah got home, he thought to himself that it was the perfect time to teach Adi Allah a lesson in a cruel and threatening move. He sent video of Adi Allah baiting to her with a written test, warning her that if she did not want this video to go viral, she had to do everything he told her to do. It was a scary and manipulative act intended to control Adeola and make her comply with his demand. Adeola received the video from Ola and watched in shock as she saw herself bathing naked in Ola's bedroom. Confused and alarmed, she immediately called Ola and demanded an explanation. She asked him why he had recorded her without her consent and what crime she had committed to deserve such treatment. Adeola reminded him that she had only come to assist him when he was sick. Ola reacted in a scary manner. He told Adeola that her mistake is rejecting him as her boyfriend because he liked her, but she made fun of him. He confessed he would do anything to achieve his desires, even if it was not fair. Then he threatened Adeola, saying he would share the video online if she did not obey him. 
This would make her feel embarrassed and ashamed to go out. It was a cruel and controlling threat, leaving Adeola feeling frightened and trapped. Adeola felt broken when she saw what Ola had done. She had thought of him as a friend, but she did not realize he was hiding a cruel side. The next morning, Ola called Adeola and asked her to come to his house. Adeola refused, but Ola threatened her, saying she would regret it if she did not come within the next 30 minutes. Adeola pleaded with him, explaining that she had a test she could not miss. However, Ola gave her a strict ultimatum, saying that if she did not arrive within the next 28 minutes, she will face the consequences. With a chilling tune, he ended the call, leaving Adeola feeling frightened and trapped. Adeola hurried to Ola's house. When he saw her, he said, Good girl, you were playing hard to get, but see how I brought you here. I did not have any feelings for you. I did not even like you. I would have considered loving you if you had not played hard to get. I only pursue you because I was challenged. Adeola is surprised by what Ola is saying. She pleaded, please delete the video. I have not done anything wrong to you. I have a test to write. Please let me go. But Ola replied, the video is my trump card. I will not foolishly delete it. Continue begging. I do not have any money to pay you for this video. My parents are poor. And I am their last hope. If you post this video, I will not be able to show my face outside. Ola replied, if you listen to me, then no one will see this video. He continued, henceforth, I will choose the days you will go to class, the days you will write tests, and the days you will spend in my hands. I will tell you when to read, where to sleep, and when to eat. I will control your life henceforth. Ola asserted. Ade Ola nailed down, pleading once more. Please do not do this to me. I am my parent's last hope. Do not destroy my education. I am just 18 years old. Still in my first year. Please do not shatter my dreams. She cried and begged, but Ola just laughed at her. He told her to go write her test and then come back in the evening to spend time with him. Adeola quickly ran and left for the campus. When she got to school, the test was finished. Her classmates asked her why she came late and she said she forgot she had a test that morning. She left for her hostel where she started crying again. She gathered all the gifts Ola gave to her and tried burning them outside. But Ola called her immediately. He said, my eyes are on you. Do not dare burn my gifts. Return them back to the room. She followed his instructions. Back at her last place, he is with his friend. He told them Adeola will be sleeping in his room that night. They were surprised and asked, Did she say yes to you already? Another friend asked, Are you dating her already? Ola told them, Calm down saying, I got whatever I want. All the guys laughed and called Ola a genius. Adeola is in her hostel, crying. She has not been able to focus on her book. Instead, she is consumed by the thoughts of how to save herself. Though she considers suicide, she quickly dismissed the idea. Realizing she is her parent's last hope, she decided she would beg Ola again. And if he refused, she would report him to the police. While she was thinking, Ola's call came in. He said, do not keep me waiting. It's almost 4 p.m. Before 5 p.m., you should be in my hands. Adeola is and caught the call. That evening, she went back to Ola's place and begged him again. But he refused. Frustrated and desperate, she went to Ola's kitchen and grabbed a knife and told him that if he did not delete the video, she would harm him. Ola slapped her and took the knife from her. Adeola persisted, saying, I will report you to the police if you do not delete the video. Ola started laughing, saying, 
My family is wealthy. We control the police. I will just give my elder brother a call and I will be out in one time. But as for you, your videos must have gone viral even before the police will arrest me. Adeola asked, Then why do not you kill me instead of tormenting me like this? Ola laughed, saying, I am not a murderer. If only you had accepted me, I would not have gone this far. Allah instructed Adeola to join him in bed and behave obediently, saying that he might delete the video if she satisfied him. Adeola refused, prompting Allah to question why she is pretending to be shy when he had already seen her nakedness. I am captivated by your beauty, especially your lovely breasts. The thought of touching and testing them sends shivers of romantic excitement down my spine. I can hardly wait to enjoy the pleasure of your succulent oranges. Adeola pleaded, I cannot do this. Please, I cannot lie on the same bed with a man who is not my husband. It goes against my belief. Ola responded, Now you are making me angry. If you want me to delete the video, you have to make love to me tonight. Adeola begged Ola, Please do not do this to me. I am a virgin. When Ola heard this, he said, This is wonderful. I have never been intimate with a virgin. So you will be my first. He forcefully dragged Adeola onto his bed, insisting that she cooperate or else he would not delete the video. Adeola begged him to stop, but he refused. He kissed her and remarked on her beauty and soft skin, questioning how one could resist her. Despite Adeola's protests, he continued to romance and suck her breasts. When she objected, he silenced her, insisting that she would enjoy it. He arrogantly claimed that many girls would beg to spend a night with him, but he is freely offering himself to her. He persisted in his advances. Despite Adeola's resistance, she attempted to shout, but he threatened to post the video if she did. Adeola enjoyed the pain silently. Tears streamed down her face as Ola instructed her to smile and assured her she would enjoy it. He kissed all over her body, went deeper, even though Adeola asked him to stop because it hurts. But Ola said she is sweet, so he did not want to stop. After it was done, he fell asleep while Adeola cried all night. In the morning, Adeola begged him to let her go, but he hugged her tightly and refused. He said he did not have enough of her yet. Ola told her, you are the sweetest girl I have ever been with. I know you like it, even if you are pretending. Come on, tell me, am I really good in bed? Which style did you like best last night? Adeola is in frustration, showing she was not happy. Ola did not listen to her and suggested trying again, promising to be gentle this time. Even though Adeola said no many times, he still went ahead and forcefully. Adeola cried out in pain, but Ola said sorry and claimed he would be gentle. Later that day, Ola gave Adeola money to go to the market and use it to prepare food for him. Adeola asked him to keep his promise and delete the video after what happened between them. Ola expressed surprise at Adeola's kindness, but refused to delete the video, saying he could not do it, that if he delete the video, he would not be able to hold Adeola again. She cried and begged him to keep his promise. She remembered him of what he said he would do. Her voice shaking with sadness. Allah stood up. I want you all to myself. Allah declared. Please, I am sorry, he said, feeling really bad about what he did. I cannot delete it. I need to be with you. He felt like his feelings were really strong. He knew their relationship started as a game. But now, it's much more serious. You are the first virgin I have ever been with. Allah admitted. His eyes softened. I want to be with you forever. 
Adeola. He felt sorry for what he has done and really wanted her. Despite his mistakes, he begged Adeola to think about being with him, expressing how much he wanted her to be his partner. He sounded sincere and sorry for what he did. Allah told Adeola, I want to date and love you. I am sorry our relationship started like this. If you agree, I will delete the video. Adeola responded angrily, asking what kind of relationship begin with manipulation. She expressed her hatred towards Ola and said he could upload the video if he wants because she no longer care. Adeola angrily went back to her hostel, feeling upset. She could not hold back her tears and started crying again, alone in her room. She questioned herself, wondering how she had ended up in such a situation. Frustrated and angry, she grabbed the phone Ola had given her and forcefully threw it against the wall, scattering it. Then she gathered all the gifts he had given to her and burned them, trying to ride herself off any remembrance of Ola. In his room, Ola felt deep regret for how he had treated Adeola. He realized he has acted forcefully and inappropriately towards her. Reflecting on his actions, he admitted to himself that he never expected Adeola to be a virgin, as most of the women he had dated were not. He wishes he had approached the situation differently, knowing now that he had crossed a line. He was filled with guilt and acknowledged the severity of his actions, acknowledging that Adeola hated him for what he had done. Allah feared the consequences of his behavior, knowing that if Adeola reported him, he could end up in jail. He recognized that he had been foolishly caught up in what he saw as a challenge, but now understood the serious implications of his actions, foiled by anger at himself and remorse for his actions. Allah swiftly deleted the video from his phone and any other device it was stored on. Desperate to make amends, he attempted to call Adeola but her phone was switched off. Meanwhile, Adeola remained secluded in her room for an entire week, refusing to open the door or respond to any attempts to contact her. She shut off her phone as well, isolating herself from the outside world as she grabbed with her traumatic experience during her week of seclusion. Adeola realized that she had missed several tests due to her emotional pains. As she reflected on what had happened, she deeply regretted allowing Ola to touch her. She felt ashamed of her experience and wished she had chosen the embarrassment of the link video over the trauma of being intimate with him, determined to protect herself from further harm. Adeola made a firm decision not to let anyone hurt her again. Despite her concerns that the video may have gone viral, she found herself surprisingly indifferent to its potential impact. Meanwhile, Ola, unable to reach Adeola, grew increasingly worried about her well-being, fearing she may have harmed herself in her distress. Ola told his elder brother about what he did. His elder brother scorned him and said it was a serious problem. He warned Ola that he could go to jail if Adeola reported him. Adeola came out of her room after a week. Looking better, she went to her school to ask her lecturers if she could retake the test she missed. Some lecturers agreed, but others said she had to get ready for the next exams. Adeola did not let what happened with Ola make her feel weak. She decided to leave it all behind and keep moving forward. A friend told Ola that Adeola is in campus today. So he rushed to the school to try to talk to her. When he got there, he checked her classroom, but she is not there. Then he went to her hostel, but she is not there either. Adeola is in the library reading. Ola called her. But she saw the missed call and muttered it. 
Adeola does not want to see or talk to Ola because she detests him. Later, Ola went to his class, surprising his classmates because he usually does not attend classes. Yet, he passes most of his courses. After class, Ola went to Adeola's hostel to check up on her. She had returned by then. When he knocked, she opened the door. But upon seeing his face, she quickly closed it, despite her attempt to keep him out. Ola opened the door and entered inside. Adeola asked him what he wanted, questioning if he intended to rape her again, or threaten her with the video. Ola knelt down and apologized, expressing regret over his actions, admitting he did not know what came over him. Ola expressed his apologies again and mentioned that he deleted the video. He also stated that he would accept any punishment Adeola wishes to impose on him. However, Adeola was not swayed by his words, stating that his apology would not change anything. She expressed her hatred towards him and demanded that he leave his room, threatening to call the police if he did not. Ola pleaded with Adeola to call the police, expressing readiness to face the consequences of his actions. Adeola, however, urged him to leave her room. If he had any street of humanity left in him, Ola left the room, feeling remorseful for his behavior. Adeola finished her first year exams and went back home. She was excited to see her family again especially her dad, who needed help on the farm. Adeola worked hard every day, helping her dad with chores and take care of the plants and animals. She kept herself busy so she would not think about Ola, who had hurt her feelings. Meanwhile, Ola had just finished his third year exams. He missed Adeola and tried calling her, but she did not answer his calls. He felt sad and confused. When school resumed, everyone returned to their classes. Ola, feeling remorseful for his actions, decided to buy a reading rechargeable light for Adeola as a peace offering. However, when he offered her the gift, Adeola refused it, still upset with him. Ola understand why she was still angry and asked her how long she planned to stay mad at him. Adeola's response was firm to eternity. Desperate for forgiveness and unable to focus on his studies with the tension between them, Ola pleaded with Adeola to forgive him. He confessed that he could not concentrate, knowing she was upset with him. However, Adeola was not easily swayed. She reminded him of his past behavior, accusing him of not taking his studies seriously and only be interested in chasing after girls on campus. She saw through his attempt to manipulate her and declared that she would not be foolish enough to forgive him or come closer to him again. Despite Adeola's firm stand, Ola refused to give up on trying to mend their relationship. He continued to plead with her emphasizing that he has changed for the better and regretted all of his past actions. He even went as far as offering to make amends by paying the consequences if Adeola wished to take legal actions against him. Adeola listened to his plea but remained skeptical. She told him that if he truly wanted her forgiveness, he needed to prove it through his actions. She challenged him to be serious about his academic pursuits, suggesting that if he showed genuine dedication and improvement, she might consider forgiving him in the future. However, for the time being, she made it clear that she harbored deep hatred towards him. After promising to take his studies seriously, Ola left and focused on his education. He graduated with top marks. Before leaving the school, he visited Adeola to ask for forgiveness. However, she was still hurt by his actions and could not forgive him. She asked him to leave. 
Ola begged Adeola for forgiveness, but she said no. He felt sad and guilty for hurting her. Adeola kept going to school and eventually graduated. She went back to her village to show her parents her good grades. They were happy and proud of her. Adeola stayed with her family for a few months before going to the city to find a better job. She applied for different companies and was lucky to get a job and a place to stay in a big company. Adeola began to work at the company and received a generous salary, which made her happy. She was thrilled because she could save some money for herself and also send a little to her parents back in the village. Recently, the CEO of the company shared some exciting news with everyone. He announced that his second son would be returning from abroad soon. Once he is back, he will take over the company because the CEO needed to retire and rest. The CEO is well loved by everyone because he is very understanding and caring. After a month, the CEO's son returned from abroad. His father brought him to the office to introduce him to everyone. All the employees gathered in the conference room, including Adeola. The CEO proudly announced, My elder son is managing our business abroad. And now my second son, Ola, will be taking over the business here. As Ola entered the room and greeted everyone, Adeola had sunk, seeing him again, sent a chi down her spine, stirring up old memories and emotions. Ola addressed all the employees, expressing his gratitude for the warm welcome and asking for their cooperation, just as they had given to his father. Everyone in the office welcomed him with open hands, showing their support by applauding him. The atmosphere was filled with positivity and excitement as they embraced Ola's new role in the company. After the meeting, Ola went up to Adeola and said hi. Adeola said hi back. Ola told Adeola, I have been trying to call you for a long time, but you never answered. I stopped calling when I went overseas. How have you been? Adeola replied that she is okay. Ola then asked her for forgiveness, but Adeola felt on ease and asked him to wait or think after work to talk because she did not want others to think anything about them. Ola agreed and said they would talk later. Then he left his office. It's Ola's first day at the office. Even though he is familiar with the business from his time abroad, his father is still guiding him through. After work, Ola asked Adeola to meet him in his office, but she preferred to talk in a more public area. Ola agreed, and they met in a common area. Ola ordered some food, but Adeola declined to eat. Ola then expressed his remorse to Adeola, asking for her forgiveness and understanding. Adeola replied that it is okay and forgave him. She then expressed stress and asked if she could go home. Ola agreed, but insisted she eat first. Eventually, Adeola agreed and said she would eat before leaving. While they were eating, Ola asked Adeola if she is married, to which she replied no. Then he asked if she is in a serious relationship. She also said no. Ola expressed relief, saying he is glad. Ola smiled curiously about his gratitude. Ola explained that it means he still had a chance to be with her. However, Adeola declined, saying she did not want him or anyone else. After they finished eating, Ola dropped Adeola off at her place and then went home. At home, Ola could not stop smiling, thinking at least she finally forgave me after all these years. I am so happy. The next day, Ola arrived at work, looking neat and charming. Many of the female workers admired his appearance, but Adeola was not swayed by his looks. After addressing everyone for the day, Ola went to Adeola's office, 
he expressed his feelings, saying that now nah, she has forgiven him. Could she give him a chance? He confessed his love for her. Adeola responded that it was not possible. Ola pleaded for an opportunity to make things right, to correct his past mistakes and make her happy. However, Adeola explained that she could not trust him anymore because he had betrayed her trust in the past by making a video of her nakedness. She insisted that they should just remain as boss and colleagues. Ola insisted, saying he is not the same person he was in school and that he had changed. He promised that if she gave him a chance, she would not regret it. Adeola replied that she could not envision spending her life with him because it will constantly remind her of how he has mistreated her in the past. Ola pleaded, pointing out that she had said she forgave him. Yet she refused to forget. He begged for a chance, swearing he would never hurt her again. He admitted that he did not love her back then, but he did now. He confessed that he had not dated anyone since their past and he only wanted her. He professed his love for Adeola. Adeola replied, Can we continue this conversation after work? We have a lot of work to do and you need to be responsible because your dad recently handed this company over to you. Ola then went back to his office. He called his elder brother to catch up, but his daughter answered and said that her dad is currently taking a bath and would call back once he is done. Later, Ola Eda's brother called back. Ola told him that he saw the girl he hurt in school, now working at their company, and she forgave him. His brother said, That's good. You are lucky, but never do something like that again. Ola assured his elder brother that he would not repeat such behavior again. He then confided in his elder brother that he is in love with the girl and wished to marry her. His brother wished him good luck, and they discussed other business matters before saying goodbye. Ola asked Adeola to go on a dinner date. He said if she forgave him, she would not say no. Adeola said yes, and went to dinner with him. Ola told Adeola he wanted them to be in a relationship because he loved her. Adeola said she is focused on work and helping her parents out of poverty. Ola suggested they could be in a relationship and still focus on work. He even mentioned wanting her to be his wife and then the mother of their future children. Adeola smiled but said she has not healed from what happened in school so she cannot commit to that. Adeola left and went back home. Ola told himself he would keep trying because he believed she would eventually get over the horror from school. The next day, Ola older brother called to say he is coming to visit. Ola is happy because he had not seen his brother in a week. Ola informed their parents and everyone made arrangements for his brother's arrival. The next day, Ola went to the airport to pick up his brother and his family. They chatted inside the car on their way home. When they arrived, their parents welcomed them warmly. Their father asked Dave how he is doing, expressing how much he missed him. Dave replied that he is fine and asked about their mom whereabouts. She went out to the market. In the room, Ola said to his brother, Now you are back. Can you talk to Adeola for me? Maybe she will listen to you. Dave replied, I will, but first I need to eat. I need food. I am starving. At the office, Adeola is not very active. She is thinking about whether she should trust Ola again or not. Even though she is starting to develop feelings for the new Ola, the memories of what happened to her in school still hurt her. Ola and his elder brother arrive at the office that afternoon. Ola introduced Adeola to his elder brother. They exchanged pleasantries and Dave complimented her on her beautiful face and shape.
Adeola replied, we thank you, sir. They said she did not need to call him sir because he will soon be her brother-in-law. They all smiled. Later that day, Ola visited Adeola at her house and complimented her beautiful place. Adeola thanked him. Ola knelt down and asked Adeola to marry him. Adeola politely asked him to get up, saying she is not ready for this. But Ola refused to stand up until she accepted the ring. Eventually, Adeola gave in and accepted the ring. Ola stood up to hug her, but Adeola refused the hug. That evening, Ola took her to show her to his parents. His dad is surprised, wondering why Ola want to marry his employee. Just a week after returning, Ola explained that they had known each other since school. Helping his dad understand the situation better. His parents welcomed Adeola with open hands. After a week, Adeola took Ola to meet her parents, who also welcomed him warmly. Ola promised to take care of Adeola and her parents, now that he is going to become their son. Adeola's parents thanked Ola and approved of their union. Months later, Ola and Adeola got married. Ola's elder brother gifted them with a house to start their new life together. Both Ola and Adeola moved into their new house while Dave and his family returned abroad because of their company. He managed there. Despite being married, Adeola still is not comfortable with Ola. Whenever he came to bed, fear gripped her and they lived like strangers for a year. Why Adeola is watching a movie? A mother called and asked when she would give her grandkids. She smiled and replied, God's time is the best. After work, Ola returned home and he is welcomed by Adeola. She asked him to shower before joining her downstairs for dinner, which he did. After eating, Ola wanted to sleep in another room while Adeola retired to their room to sleep. In the morning, Ola got dressed and went to work without saying hello to Adeola. When Adeola woke up and looked for Ola, he was already gone. She felt sad and wondering why he is acting differently. So she called him and asked why. He is being distant. Ola apologized and promised to take three days off work to spend time with her. After finishing work, Ola asked his manager to handle things for him because he would be working from home for the next three days. When he got home, Adeola welcomed him as usual. They ate together and watched movie until Adeola fell asleep. Ola carried Adeola to their room and laid her on the bed. But Adeola woke up and told him not to touch her. Ola asked why, as she said he had lost the right to touch her. Ola respected her wishes and left the room, sleeping in the sitting room instead. In the morning, Ola called Adeola, expressed concern about their future as a family, asking if they would be held back by what happened in the past. Adeola assured him he would not be paying for it forever, but asked for time to heal. Despite this, Adeola served Ola his food, but he refused to eat it. He took his car key and left to eat outside, deciding to stop eating at home altogether, which made Adeola unhappy. A few days later, Ola gave Adeola a large sum of money, telling her it would be enough to support her for six months. He assured her that if it is not sufficient, she could call him and he would send more money. I will be traveling for six months. To get away from all this drama, Ola announced. Adeola refused, saying she could not stay alone in their big house for that long. Ignoring her plea, Ola left the money and went to pick his bags. Adeola begged him, expressing her inability to cope with the situation. Ola took his bag and left, ignoring Adeola's cause. He did not want to hurt her, but he hoped that his absence will make her realize her mistakes. Adeola gave Ola many missed calls, but he deliberately did not pick up. 
Feeling desperate, Adeola called Dave and asked him to help beg Ola to come back home, promising to change her behavior. Dave asked what happened, and Adeola explained how she had been withholding physical affections from Ola since they got married. Dave agreed to intervene on the condition that Adeola promised to change. After making the promise, Dave called Ola and persuaded him to return home. Ola came back that same day and Adeola ran to hug him, apologizing and expressing her commitment to change. They hugged each other tightly, both ready to move forward. The next day, Adeola woke up early and went out to buy a sexy gun. She then prepared a delicious meal and cake, taking extra care to make everything perfect. Afterward, she took a bath and put on the sexy gown she had bought. She surprised Ola with a cake in bed, shouting happy birthday, darling. Ola is overwhelmed because he had not even remembered his birthday due to all this recent drama. They cut the cake together and enjoy it. Adeola then encouraged Ola to freshen up and join her at the dining table. Ola cleaned up and joined her. Noticing his wife dress provocatively, but he did not react to it. They both ate their meal, and Ola expressed his desire to return to bed to sleep. This angered Adeola, thinking to herself that he could not even compliment her outfit. Ola went to their room to sleep, and Adeola followed him. Wake up! Can't you see me? Can't you see I am wearing sexy outfits? You cannot even compliment my clothes, Adeola exclaimed. Ola apologized and said it is beautiful, then pretended to go back to sleep to provoke her. Adeola insisted that he wake up, telling him that now she is giving him attention, but he is not reciprocating it. Ola apologized, saying they would talk later, but Adeola climbed on top of him and started kissing him, surprising Ola. Ask if she is okay, as this behavior is unlike her. Adeola did not respond. Instead, she continued kissing him until Ola began to respond. They kissed passionately and made love for the first time after their wedding. Afterward, Adeola asked Ola if he enjoyed it, to which he jokingly replied no, adding that maybe if they did it again, he might enjoy it. Adeola smiled and told him to go to sleep. They both smiled and fell asleep in each other's hands. Adeola became pregnant and gave birth to a fancy baby boy. Ola and Adeola live happily ever after. This story does not say it is okay to use or hurt someone. If you have ever hurt someone, it's good to say sorry. They might forgive you. Ola got away with his actions. But you might not be so lucky. Thanks guys for watching this video. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel to support us. Like, share and drop your comment below. And do not forget to tell us the country you are watching from. Thank you guys. We love you.